Hey everybody, this is Splatterman once I'm back here on another review for No Country for Old Men starring Josh Brolin, Javier Bardem, and Tommy Lee Jones. Also directed by the Cohen brothers. So, anyways, in this movie, Avier Bardem plays an assassin and he has this one thing that like if he presses like the button like this it like pops out and he like walks up to this guy and just fucking like pops him right in the head though and that, that's pretty cool but anyways basically what happens at the beginning of the movie is that he gets taken to jail and basically this cop is calling the sheriff and he hangs up and then uh he walks behind him with the, the handcuffs and chokes him out which, after that, he ends up taking a police car, and then he ends up pulling somebody over and asks them to step out of the car, and he goes, like, sit there, and he walks up to him and just presses the button, and then the guy uh, dies, and then he takes his car, so he's not, he doesn't have a police officer's car, so he doesn't get pulled over after that moment. But then after that, you got Josh Brolin, who is sitting there with a sniper rifle, and he's looking at a herd of deer, and he ends up uh, shooting, and then he goes down there and sees the blood loss that the, the deer had, so he goes after him. And then after that, uh, Josh Brolin looks in the distance, and he sees, like, a shitload of trucks and like he starts going towards it and then he arrives and gets closer and sees that there's a bunch of dead bodies and they're in the back of somebody's truck there was a shitload of heroin and then he basically sits there and then looks at a tree and then walks out there and finds a briefcase full of two million dollars and at that moment when he got the two million then the guy had a MP5K and he takes it with him. And then like he walks back over to the trucks and then all of a sudden another truck's coming after him and it's got his lights on. And then he runs and then he has to take his clothes off and go down the river. And then he gets across the river and then shoots a, a dog that was after him. But then anyways, Josh Brolin goes back to his house and ends up hiding the, the MP5K under the house. And he also got a, a 1911 and then he brings the cash or the $2 million in the back of his uh, house in the trailer. But like during all this that's going on, I've always thought the really like the whole movie when I when I watched it. The first time it was like very suspenseful, but anyways, the whole time there's a tracker in the the briefcase with all the money, so that the assassin knows where he goes. And then basically, Josh Brolin uh, takes his wife with him, and they go. And then he puts his wife on a bus so that she can go somewhere. And then Josh Brolin goes to a hotel uh, to stay the night there. Or to he takes the briefcase and he shoves it in the air vent. Because the basic idea, like when he goes into the room, he's going to put the, the briefcase in the vent and push it in there. And push it to the side and then put the, the vent back on so that he goes back to the front desk. And then goes to the next room to the left over so that he can retrieve it. Uh, but unknowns to Josh Brolin, uh, the assassin, goes to his house and he uses the, like, I'm not, I don't know what the tool's called, but, like, I'm just going to call it the pressure pusher thing. Whatever that is, he takes it and puts it against a deadbolt, shoots the lock, and then he goes in the house where Josh Brolin lived, but unbeknownst to him, that he already left to go to a motel, 
So I thought that was pretty cool. And I thought it was funny that you know, he goes and gets milk out of the fridge and then ends up taking off. And then the assassin uh, goes on the highway uh, and he has this like little like tracking thing that he turns on and he puts it next to him and it beeps like when it's nearby it and then he goes to the hotel and then drives by and then he notices it beeps real loud and then he goes back a little bit until it beeps really loud and then he goes in there where Josh Brolin previously stayed uh, like there's people in this room where he did stay and he's in the next room but there's a bunch of Mexicans in there and then he goes in with the he pushes in the the deadbolt and then he has the silent shotgun and kills all of them in there and he can't find it so then he looks for a pair of socks so, and they don't have them in the drawer and then after that Josh Brolin says fuck the shit and he goes and hightails it the fuck out of there and basically he goes to another hotel and then he's looking through the cache because he's wondering why the, the assassin knows where he is and he eventually finds the tracker and lays it out on the table and he's sitting there and he, he also bought a shotgun though and he's sitting there with the shotgun he turns the light off he busts in the deadbolt and then, like, he, he shoots a couple times. Josh Brolin does, and so does the assassin. And Josh Brolin jumps out the window with the bag. <laughs> so, that that would suck jumping from that high. And then he tries to end up running away. And then after that, Josh Brolin ends up running away, and he runs down the alleyway, and then runs up to another building and then see some guy with a truck and he basically hi like hijacks him or takes a ride but then the assassin ends up shooting and killing the guy and then he like Josh Brolin ducks down and puts it in drive and then like drives away and the assassin got wounded and he tries to find him but then Josh Brolin says screw it and then he parks the truck and he ends up going over the border and he takes the the briefcase and throws it over the side and he does that and then he he gives four hundred dollars for a, a coat i'm like damn i don't know if i'd give somebody that much money but i guess he was desperate and then he gets a beer and he's walking and he I guess, like, he, he's going across the border and he just shows him a, a Corona beer. <laughs> so I thought I thought that was pretty funny and eventually gets across the border. And then a bunch of, a few people are playing, like, guitars and he hands him money and he ends up in the hospital. And then after that moment uh, in the hospital, uh, Woody Harrelson is there and he, he's telling him if the assassin... Finds him even if he gives him the money that he's gonna kill him anyways, just for pleasure, just for the fuck of it anyway. So I mean, thought that kind of really sucked. But since the assassin got wounded, he has to go get medical medical supplies, and he ends up taking some like a wet, like a rag and shoving it in the gas tank and having gas and puts a piece of paper and puts it and lights it and blows up a car. And goes in there and gets some uh, healing or first aid. And then he has like some plastic. He lies on the ground and he has like he has a big ass like gash on his uh, leg. And he ends up doing that. So I mean that definitely fucking hurt. And then after that Josh Brolin ends up going to a store. And he gets some new boots and a shirt and a hat. And then goes back over the border. Back to the. United States, and and then when Josh Brolin gets across the border, then he goes to another hotel, and basically after that, uh, a bunch of Mexicans show up, and he's dead, and then Tommy Lee Jones shows up and tells them to go call the cops, 
and because he's he's already dead. And then after that, uh, Josh Brolin ends up getting buried, and his wife is there. And they went to the funeral, and she got back. And then the assassins in her room, and they're just sitting there, and he, he says something, and you can tell that he definitely killed her, uh, ki killed his, her, <laughs> his wife, because he's walking out, and he's checking his boots, and he, he, he wipes them on the, the rug as he's walking out, and then he jumps in the car, and he's going down the road, and he gets hit, and a bone popped out of his his arm, and then these these kids come up to him, and he basically asks for a shirt and gives him like a hundred bucks and throws it around him so he can hold it around his arm, and the assassin walks away, but then psychologically at the end of it, Tommy Lee Jones has to live with the fact that he didn't find him and he walked away and now he has to live with it but I was really suspense through the whole movie and I didn't know really what was going to happen but I personally give the movie a, a 9 out of 10 and it's a solid movie and a must, must watch so have a good night